Hi everyone, thanks for joining us here today. Case Cooking and More, I'm Marie Lockwood. Today's recipe is a very decadent strawberry trifle. So let's see what we do. Okay, so for this recipe, the first thing we're going to do is take a strawberry cake mix. And you're going to make this exactly per directions, except for the water. You're going to substitute milk for that. Now once that's done, and I have mine already done behind me, they're cooling off. We're going to start on our white chocolate ganache. Now what you're going to do is take some heavy whipping cream and your white chocolates. And you're just going to heat that up in the microwave um, until it's pretty warm. And then we're going to use it to melt our chocolates. So we'll okay. play. Now this is heated up to it's just started to boil. I'm just going to Pour that on top of our white chocolate. You're just going to let that sit for a minute. You really want to uh, let that heat soak in and really melt that chocolate a little bit. And stirring it will actually help cool it down. So we're going to give it just a minute. Okay, now that this has sat for a minute, you can see that the chocolate is starting to melt really well. We're just going to give that a nice stir. You want to get that whipping cream and that chocolate really mixed well together. You'll know it kind of thickens up a little bit. Alright, now that you've got this well mixed, most of the little chunks of chocolate have all kind of dissolved and mixed in there. You're going to take some white food coloring. You don't have to, but you can see that the white chocolate and the whipping cream kind of turn this weird yellowish tint. So the white just kind of takes it back to a white, which looks better as our overall dessert, but you don't have to. Just a little bit more there. And this is a gel paste food color, not a liquid based. There we go. Now you can see it's starting to turn pretty white. You just have to mix that a little bit until it's completely white. All right, now that you have that done, we're just going to set that to the side for a minute. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is this is some more heavy whipping cream. Now heavy whipping cream, if you mix it with a blender, will eventually form peaks. It does take a few minutes, so be prepared for, you're going to be doing this a little bit. What we're looking for is to form those little peaks, sort of like meringue does. This also has almost no taste to it. So what I have is some powdered sugar that we're going to add to get a sweetness to it. Get that okay, now that it's starting to form little peaks, just take your spatula, wipe down those sides, and give it a good mix on, you know, as it's thickening up, you kind of go up in your speed. But after you wipe this down, give it another mix, just to make sure that you've gotten all of it in there. Okay, now at this point, we're going to add our powdered sugar. And that's just to give it a little flavor because like I said, when you first make it, when it's by itself, it has literally no flavor to it. And that is not what we want. Now I'm just giving it a slight mix before I turn on the blender just to make sure none of that powder is going to fly up in my face. Okay, again, just wipe down your sides. Make sure all that powdered sugar we added for flavor is down in there. And then give it another mix. Now at this point, you probably want to taste test to make sure you've got enough powdered sugar that it has a sweetness to it. If it's still really bland and there's no flavor, add a little more. Should be about right. get some of that stuff off of there. Now some people
people do cheat this step and use Cool Whip, and you can do that if you choose. I like this just because I can get it the flavor and sweetness that I actually want. And Cool Whip kind of comes how it is. Alright, so you're just going to clean off as much as you can on there. And then we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, for this step I have some strawberries that I have already cleaned and sliced and a little bit of sugar. You just kind of want to give those a little coating. Okay, stir them up a little bit, make sure there's a little sugar on all of them. That just helps sweeten the strawberries a little bit. Sometimes your strawberries can be very tart. And that's not really the flavor we want for this dessert. We want sweet, not tart. Just give that a little mix each time. Add a little bit of sugar. And then just stir it again. And like I said, it just helps sweeten them a little bit. So they're a little more sweet instead of tart. going to set this aside and start on our last step. Okay. Now on this step we're going to take our strawberry cake and we want to cut the top off of that because we don't want that little bit of hard cake that comes from the very top. We want it nice and soft and moist and that was one of the reasons why we added that milk instead of water. It helps keep it a little more moist. Just take those top piece off and set it to the side. Okay, you're going to take a knife and you're just going to cut it basically into cubes. And you're going to do this to both pieces. And you can save those tops and you can make cake pops out of those if you choose. Or you can throw them away, whichever one you want to do. All right, so once we have that cubed, we're gonna start our next one and then we'll be back. Okay, now that we have all of our individual parts ready, we're going to start putting it together. Now, this is a trifle uh, holder. So if you don't have one, you can just use a large bowl, but I have this one because it was on sale and so I was able to get one really cheap. All right, so we're just gonna take some of our little cake cubes and create a little layer at the bottom. Okay, now that we have our little cubes there, all right, we're going to take some of our strawberry slices and I'll just kind of lay them on the side up against the glass so that they're seen from the outside. And you can lay them flat if you prefer, but this is the way that I do it. You just want to go all the way around with your little slices. Once I've gone all the way around, I do take a few extra slices and just lay them on top of that cake. Don't need a whole lot, just a little bit to give it kind of a thin layer. All right, after that, we're going to take some of our white chocolate ganache. And you're going to lightly pour that on top. Careful how much you use because we're going to be layering this with several layers. Just get enough to give a good flavor to it. Alright, then we're going to set that aside. Then we're going to take our homemade whipping cream. Just put a little layer of that on there. Kind of spread it out a little bit. Doesn't 
need to be a whole lot, just a nice little layer of it. Okay, once you have that in, we will go back to our little chunks of cake. And we're going to continue to do this all the way to the top. You should get around four layers in all by the time that you're done. Okay, and then we'll be back. take the last of our strawberries. You probably will only have a few slices left, kind of how it works. I usually just stand mine up right there in the middle. There we go. That's about okay. So here is our strawberry trifle. I hope that you enjoy it as much as my family does. Thanks for joining us here today at Cakes Cooking and More. I'm Marie Lockwood. Have a great day.